Her 70-year reign has come to an end. Queen Elizabeth II died peacefully this afternoon at Balmoral Castle in Scotland. In her time on the throne, she saw 15 UK Prime Ministers come to power, 14 US Presidents and 7 Popes. Her son, King Charles III, has been preparing for the crown his entire life and now takes the throne at age 73. The king is calling his mother's death, quote, a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. He added, quote, her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth and by countless people around the world. So it is currently one o'clock in the morning in London. This is a live look from our cameras outside Buckingham Palace. Uh, crowds, mourners have been out there all afternoon and still at this very early hour, they are still outside to mourn their queen. And tonight we are going deeper on what's next for the new king of England and how local lawmakers and Coloradans are reacting to this news. Denver 7's Patrick Perez begins our coverage tonight and joins us live in Denver off South Broadway. Patrick, people are coming to places like the restaurant you're at. Yeah, Jessica, we are outside of GB Fish and Chips. Uh, an employee that I spoke with here a few hours ago tells me people have been stopping by all day to get a meal in honor of the queen. Of course, they are in mourning, but also they're asking a lot of questions about what the future of this community will look like without their queen. As people in the UK and around the world mourn Queen Elizabeth II, those far from home in Colorado are also grieving in their own ways. When I heard, I felt I was prepared for it. But you're never really prepared for, um, for death, any kind of death, even if someone's been ill for a long time. Sylvia Lamb left London for Denver about five years ago, but the news of the Queen's death is just as impactful today as it would have been then. This is the end of an era. I've only known the Queen. Um, she's been the head of uh, state for forever. While it may be hard for some Americans to empathize, Sylvia says we have to look at the queen as someone who served her people in a bipartisan way for seven decades. You can only respect somebody like that who has that sense of duty to their country, to their nation, to their people, to their subjects, to their citizens. Over at GB Fish and Chips on South Broadway in Denver. It's sad. It's end of an era. Expats like Patrick Forrady are now concerning themselves with what's going to happen next. Everyone loves the Queen. Everyone just loves it. Like, she's always been there. She's always been cool. It's kind of when your grandma dies. You don't know what to do kind of thing. People were coming in the English restaurant throughout the day Thursday, he says, to have an authentic meal in honor of the Queen. Brit, South African, anyone from the Commonwealth comes here. Jamaican like New Zealand, Australia, and everyone comes here to buy meat pies, sausage rolls. And while there's division across the pond, just as there is here, people like Sylvia hope in some way the Queen's death will bring them all together. I think the collective mourning in a strange way has come at the right time. So I went to the British Bulldog in downtown Denver today, as well as this restaurant. I spoke with an employee there who tells me whenever that funeral is scheduled officially, uh, they plan to potentially open up early so people can come and gather. And I'm sure that's not the only event that we'll see happening here in the Denver Metro. Shannon. All right, Patrick, thank you for that report. The Queen, the most widely traveled head of state in history. Now, she never visited Colorado. Now, Governor Polis also ordered flags lowered at half staff, as the president has done, until the burial of the queen. The governor also issued a statement on Twitter. Colorado celebrates and honors the life and memory of her royal majesty. Prince Charles is now king, and it comes at a time when the ways in which we know the monarchy today will be challenged. This afternoon, I spoke with Professor Martin Rhodes from DU's Joseph Corbell School of International Studies, and he says the time will come where the royal family doesn't have as much celebrity status. I think inevitably by the time, and this will probably precede the end of Charles' reign, certainly it will happen under his successor, William, um, it'll become a much less, um, a, a much less profound, glamorous monarchy. Um, it'll become more like the Dutch monarchy, with you know the, the royal, members of the royal family cycling to the marketplace and mixing with ordinary people. Professor Rhodes also says King Charles will likely reduce the number of royals being paid with public money. And the palace has been preparing for the Queen's passing. In fact, this afternoon, I read a long and long in place plan called London Bridge. It was first put together in the early 1960s. It details every single thing that will happen and in what order the moment the Queen dies. So first, there's a cryptic phone call to the Prime Minister from the Queen's personal secretary on a secure line saying only London Bridge is down alerting the Prime Minister of her death. 
other parts of the plant. Her coffin soon will be transported to St. Giles Cathedral in Scotland before being transported to the throne room at Buckingham Palace. Her body will then lie in state at Westminster Hall for four full days. Her state funeral service is expected to be in about a week and a half. That will be at Westminster Abbey. And then the Queen will be laid to rest after a final private funeral at Windsor Castle. Queen Elizabeth II will be buried on Windsor Castle grounds next to her husband, Prince Philip, who died last year. Right now on the Denver7.com, you'll find several in-depth stories on the Queen's passing, including a look at her longtime devotion to her favorite dog breed, the adorable Corgi. In fact, the Queen has owned more than 30 Corgis in her li lifetime. You can also get the latest on the Queen and her plan on, on the plan for the days ahead on the free Denver 7 Plus app.